Hello and welcome to Knife Delights. It's time for a fixed blade Friday. That's right folks. I've been doing a lot of fun Knife Friday videos for the last year or so. But RJ's Knives, good old uh, RJ there, he started a fixed blade Friday. And uh, he's been doing some fixed blades because he's got some to review. And uh, I thought it's time to participate in RJ's open tag here. Uh... You know, I'm sure everybody knows about RJ's Knives. Uh, he's a wonderful channel, a great friend of mine. Helped me get started when I was, you know, just starting out on my uh, YouTube journey. He's just been a, a special friend. Of course, he has RJ's Live every Sunday at 1230 Central and 1030 Pacific every Sunday. So please join us. We have a whole panel there and we just have a... Well, we have a hoot. A lot of fun. So please join us this Sunday. And this knife that we're going to be reviewing here came from CB Tactical. And so let's just take a look here. Yeah, remember that box of knives I got from CB? Check out CB Tactical if you haven't done so already. Go over and give him a sub. Great channel and a great guy. Great member of the knife community. So what we have here is the White River Knife and Tool Company. And it is the M1 Backpacker Pro. Orange textured G10 handle. And I got to tell you right off the bat, you know, they get an A plus for presentation here. Uh, super nice box. So up here stamped is uh, White River Knives. Made in the USA, guaranteed for life. It comes sealed. You can see the seal they have here. Precision ground, leather honed. Again, another look at that. So that's the box. That's just the box. Then we open it up, and here we go. Yes. Here's the knife. And it comes with this paperwork. And it says Model 1 Pro. So we got a blade length of 3 inches, overall length. It gives all the specs on it. Somebody initials it here. says, we hope you enjoy your knife as much as we enjoyed making it. And White River Guarantee. I won't read all of this. You can pause it if you want to read the rest of that. And then here's the, some configuration examples for the sheath. Very nice. Oh, we got some more here. Belt loop instructions. So yeah, just a very nice knife. Great paperwork that comes with it. So let's just see what the marketing department has to say about this knife. It says, our flagship knife and an excellent multi-purpose design. On the hunt or as an everyday carry, the Model 1 is just the right size for the job. The large, high finger choil provides incredible control with plenty of power. The blade's tough and super sharp CPM S35VN, and it includes a Kydex sheath. So, looking on the White River website, I see that uh, this model comes in about three different versions. Uh, we have the M1 Backpacker with check, uh, textured G10 bolt-on handle, which weighs 3.2 ounces. They also have the uh, M1 with a paracord wrapped handle that comes in at 2.5 ounces and the M1 Caper which is micarta with flared hollow pins and comes in at 3.2 ounces. Now roughly the retail price that I found this knife on uh, the various websites is right around $165. I think some of the like the paracord wrapped one comes in at around $120, and the caper with the micarta handle comes in, well, higher than $165, like $170, $172 or so. So it all depends on uh, which version you get as to the price. So once again, we have a 3-inch drop point blade here. You can see it's got a stone wash finish to it. There's their logo, White River, nice bear on there. Yep, the length is 7 inches overall. 
and the blade thickness is oh, 0.13 inches. And of course, the steel again is S35VM, and they're saying the Rockwell uh, hardness is 58 to 60. And you can see here on the top of the knife, you got some very nice jimping there. Just the, just the right spot. And uh, does have a place here to uh, lanyard loop here. You can make a lanyard if you would like. The scales are removable. And if you look on the White River uh, website, they've got several different scale options. Different colors and such. Of course, it is full tang. And does have a small sharpening choil right down there. Now, this knife does fit very comfortable in the hand. It's got a, this cutout right here. Get your index finger right in there. I wear a large to extra large size glove. So you can see I can get a full four fingers on there. And like I said, that jumping's for me anyway, that jimping is just in the right spot. And yeah, good ergonomics. And I can see what they say when they say full control or good control of the knife. Because, yeah, it fits very well in there. It is textured. These scales here are textured. It does uh, help with your grip. But it's, it's not overly aggressive. They've done a real good job on that. Sometimes you can get a little too aggressive or, you know, not aggressive enough. But I'm sure even with, you know, wet hands and such, you could still uh, firmly uh, control that knife. So, we can check out our uh, sheath here. Again, this is Kydex. And as you saw with the card here, you have several different mounting options. Currently it's configured, so it's going to have a slight cant forward. But there's the removable screws there. And plot, lots of different holes here for different mounting options. Or if you're going to put it on molly gear or something, I guess you could just remove this. And uh, you got several good lashing points here. And looking at it, you know, I like neck knives. You can always uh, put something through here, take this off, and you could probably just hang this and use this as a as a neck knife if you wanted to. So yeah, very very nice sheath here. All righty, what do you folks think? Is this worth one hundred and sixty-five dollars to you? I was going to uh, get another knife to try to compare, but you know what? I don't have another knife uh, in this style, fixed blade style, that's comparable to this. I have some other, you know, fixed blades with this type of drop point blade about the same length, but nothing that compares to this. Let's see our edge here. Now, if I know CB, he's went out and he's used this knife. He's probably put his own edge on here. Just a wonderful knife. That's what the pile side looks like. So, I am very impressed with this knife. Uh, but honestly, it's a little bit more than what I normally spend on a fixed blade knife. Now, if it's a like a buck knife and it's, uh, you know... Got a big collectible, collectible value, you know, rare or hard to find type knife. I might, you know, save up for it. But uh, this one here for me, you know, if I was if I was looking for a knife that I knew knew I was always going to use and use a lot, I could recommend this knife for what it's designed for and its purpose. It is well built. It's well designed. Well, I hope you've. Uh, enjoyed this peek at the White River M1 Backpacker Pro. I will be leaving a uh, link in the end screen here to my playlist on fixed blade knives. Make sure and check it out. And until next time, have a very delightful day.